Hello, I'm Lynn from How To Heroes, and today I'm going to show you how to make my award-winning chocolate chip cookies. We had a throwdown at How To Heroes headquarters, and we had a balance in true How To Heroes style of professional judges and home cooks. So I'm going to show you my recipe today because it seemed to be a crowd pleaser, and hopefully you'd like to share it with your friends and family. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one cup of brown sugar packed and a half a cup of regular sugar. And then you're just going to blend that together. You don't even need the mixer right away, but just to make sure there are no lumps in the brown sugar. Okay. And then you're going to add one and a half sticks of butter softened. It's hard to think ahead sometimes. and I'm like, oh, I forgot to leave the butter out. But um, what I'll do if I do forget is sometimes I'll, right on the pilot here on the stove, I'll put the butter there so it'll soften up. So in a pinch, there's a, a tip that you can do that. So basically, you want to put this, start it on low, and then mix it up. It's just so it's a grainy paste. Okay, so once the butter is incorporated and you've scraped down the sides and got it all off the beater itself, you are going to add the eggs and you can just start it out. You can have this running, that's fine. And just add them one at a time. Then you can turn it up a little bit. Just wait till it's incorporated so it's not too watery. And you can add your second one. Again, let it get incorporated. Then you can add in the almighty vanilla. You don't want to forget that. And then, what I consider to be why I won, the secret ingredient, sour cream. This is a half cup. It just makes it really moist. I mean, I thought of it because I know it makes cakes really moist, so I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to try this with the cookies. So you want to work that in. Don't overwork it, but just get it worked in there. And then we're probably going to scrape it down once. Okay, that's it. On to the dry ingredients. Okay, so now we're going to mix in the dry ingredients, but first we're going to sift them. It's just nice to sift them in case there are any lumps in any of the dry ingredients. So that is the flour, two and a half cups of flour. And we have a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. So basically you just take a minute to sift it. It's a little messy. But it's good. It's a little extra step to make sure that your cookie is nice and fluffy. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to add it like roughly in thirds into the mix. So we're going to pour a little bit in, scrape it down, pour a little bit more in, scrape it down. It's just that flour is super messy and I think it, it makes sure that the flour incorporates better if you just do a little bit at a time. I have this awesome little attachment that comes from the most KitchenAids and it enables you to pour the flour in so it helps keep a little bit cleaner. And just a note, you definitely don't need a KitchenAid to make these cookies. You could use a hand mixer or even just a strong arm and a wooden spoon. That would be fine. But if you have one of these, it's nice, makes it a little bit easier. So let's get started. I'm going to pour a little bit of this in. I will make a mess, but it's all right. It's all for a good cause. Round one. Scrape down. Round two. I'm just going to pour the rest in here at this point. All right. Oh, 
Round three. Final round. Okay. So now we get to take this off. Take all that awesome batter off here. Don't want to waste it. Okay. And then what I like to do is I like to take it off here and take a wooden spoon and really, sometimes um, with these, the flour gets stuck to the bottom a little bit. So I like to just get in there and make sure it's all in there. And next, we're going to add the chocolate. So the last step is to fold in the chocolate chips. So another one of the secrets I think that makes a great cookie is combining milk chocolate and semi-sweet or dark chocolate and making chunks. I just find that the chunks melt better and it makes for an awesome, awesome cookie. So I have here uh, about 18 ounces of chocolate or if you buy them in the bags, it's about a bag and a half. But you can do what you want. I mean, if you like more, add more. If you like sort of to taste more of the batter, then add less chocolate. So here you go. I'm gonna like fold in, again, probably like a third at a time. And I like to fold it in as opposed to mixing it because I like the chunks to remain chunky. So we're done here incorporating the chocolate chips. So hopefully there's gonna be chocolate in every bite. So now we're gonna spoon them out onto a cookie sheet. Alrighty, so now we're ready to put these on the cookie sheet. I have lined my cookie sheet with parchment paper. I just find it's a nice clean up. It seems to help them evenly bake. And I have a nice big cookie scoop here. I kind of like them. They're gonna come out about this size, but you can use any size cookie scoop or spoon, but the cookie scoops are great because they're all gonna be equal size, which means they're gonna kind of cook at the same rate. So I just basically push it up against the side, nothing special, and spoon it out. You can refrigerate the, the dough for a while if you want. Sometimes it actually holds together a little bit better, but it's not necessary. If you can't wait like I can't, you can just go ahead and spoon it out. So the oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. Every oven is different, so keep an eye on it. Make a small batch first time around. Um, but I keep them in there about 13 minutes and take them out leave them on the cookie sheet only about like another 30 seconds and then I take them off because um, if you keep them on longer they are going to continue to bake and you don't want the cookies to dry out this is an awesome spatula this is actually a fish spatula but it is perfect for taking cookies off because you know how sometimes if you have a big cookie and you can't get the spatula all the way then part of the cookie is going to fall over the edge you don't want that and you're never going to have that with this spatula so I highly recommend getting yourself a fish fish spatula. So this is going to go into the oven for 13 minutes and then we're going to see how they came out. Okay so here are our finished chocolate chip cookies. As you can see the big chunks have really melted nicely and I think these are going to be really awesome with a glass of milk. In fact I think I'll have one. Award winning. Cheers.